So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started working with uh, Range Market and kind of also like what exactly is Range Market? Yeah, so I am a born and raised farm girl from Western North Dakota, uh, the middle of nowhere. Had like 14 kids in my class through eighth grade and my nephew and niece are now the fifth generation on my family's farm and ranch out there. And so grew up having suppers in the wheat fields and checking heifers at night. You know, that was my curfew was I had to be home in time to check the heifers at night during calving season. <laughs> and so it's definitely in my blood just being involved in agriculture, especially production agriculture and cattle specifically. And so right after I graduated college from North Coast State, I mentioned that I started my career at Elenco Animal Health, where I still work. And that entire career has been in the beef industry. And it's just really, really a passion of mine that I love. And so that's my background. I now live in Montana. Um, mm -hmm. My husband and I relocated up here to Bozeman, Montana, um, by way of Oklahoma and Texas. And our career just kind of took us all over. And anyways, landed here in Montana. I have a little boy. He was born in June. His name's Henry, but we call him Hank. And so that's been a whole, a whole new chapter in our lives. Um, but that's really me in a nutshell. Um, so range market, I was getting my MBA at Colorado State University, and we had to come up with an idea for our capstone project. And the mm. class would vote on the ideas, and the ones that got picked became projects that we worked on. And I proposed an idea, which was basically baby range market, um, and the class voted on it, and we worked on it all semester. And when the semester was done, my professor said, you know, this is a really good idea, and I think you should really think about launching this and making a, a business out of it. Um, and so that's what I did. I just built it out with my co-founder at the time, and we've just had a lot of fun. I I, was, I should mention I was an avid barrel racer um, and loved, oh, okay. yeah, loved to rodeo ride horses. But I, since having a baby and shifting gears and focusing on range market now, this has really become a, a big passion and hobby of mine. So that's awesome. You started it during your MBA program. I mean, I feel like yeah. that gives it such a cool like think tank vibe. I mean, you have so many people working on it and then your professor's like, hey, this is a good idea. You should do this full time. And you did. And that's so, yeah. that's so cool that it's becoming like this huge thing. Yeah. And so I guess you asked, what is it? Uh, so oh, really yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Yeah. Yeah. So really, I like to say it's like Etsy for barbers and ranchers. Like that's it in a nutshell. So like Etsy okay. is a place that unites artisans, right? Like and people who are making things, um, it gives them one platform. So you can go on there and search for, uh, I don't know, a wooden shelf and it like pings the people that make wooden shelves. So we're the same thing, but for like protein producers, obviously mm. we're very beef heavy because that's yeah. the industry I know that's the industry I'm in. Like that's the, I, that's the product I'm personally selling for my parents. Um, so it's primarily beef producers, but we do have chicken and we do have some lamb. Um, we do have some a grass fed creamery in upstate New York. And the overall vision is to really create a place where you can get your range of animal products. Um, so you can come on here and you can buy your chicken, your pork, your lamb, whatever it is. And you can type in ribeye and it pings all the people who have ribeyes to offer. And you can define it by production methods. So if you're really into grass fed, you can type in grass fed and it pings all the grass fed producers. And hmm. so that's sort of like, it really is like Etsy, um, but for protein protein market. I like that. That That's a really good quote. I feel like that should be like a the motto, like the Etsy for farmers and ranchers, like specifically yeah. for protein. That's that's very catchy because it, it gives you like a feel about what it's going to be when you go there. And I mean, the website's awesome. I like to geek out over, over websites. And so the market's really cool, rangemarket.com. Um, and so what is, what's kind of setting you guys apart from different online markets for, for beef or lamb or chicken? Like what's kind of the draw there? Like what's setting you guys apart? Yeah. So really, when you look at the landscape of buying meat online, like there's a few places that really stand out, you know, obviously, like everyone knows Omaha steaks, like, mm -hmm. yeah. they, you know, they go buy a ribeye from Omaha steaks. Another one that's been up and coming that has good products is Snake River Farms, you know, they're out of Idaho. They have some some nice Wagyu, you know. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's other little, I guess, online steak places. And then there's the, the butcher box and the crowd cow. So butcher box is a little different than Snake River Farms and um, Omaha Steaks and that like, you know, they send you a box every month, blah, blah, blah. But none of these sites at all give you a spot or a place to go talk to a farmer and rancher mm -hmm. and buy from them directly. You know, we're a farmer's market online like that you can do from your couch or your chair and it, you don't have that ability when you go to Omaha Steaks. You can pick out what you want to buy and you can have that steak shipped to your house, but you really don't know where it's coming from. And, and ButcherBox, you know, all of their meat, 
or I shouldn't say meat, most of their beef is sourced from Australia and New Zealand. I mean, so you're getting a box of beef, but you don't know the farmer or rancher it came from. And even if you do, it might tell you, oh, your meat could come from John Smith in Queensland, right? Yeah. Um, but we can tell you for sure, like, hey, you can pick out the person you want to have a virtual handshake with and buy from them. And that that really is a differentiator that's not available out there right now.